Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing us how to make calculations by introducing formulas using Excel. Now on the right hand side, you will notice I have a table here and the table here on this part, we have these values calculated by a software and the software that made this calculation used this formula. So I was able to get the formula that was used in computing the values that we have for gamma and for percentage effect from the manufacturer. Now, what I want to do now is I want to make the calculations manually using these formulas to see if I'm going to get the same result with the software. Now, the first thing you need to do is to understand the formulas. Understand that you have the parameters and try to understand each of the parameters. So let's go straight to the calculations. Now, I have my table on the side, which is the same with the one on the right hand side, but I want to make the calculation manually. Now for the, um, for the gamma, this is the formula to find the gamma and for the percentage effects, the formula is also here. Now I have to look through the formula to, on, to be sure that I have everything I need in the table. Now RT is here and to calculate the RT, you need to divide, um, it's, it's high T divided by I O. Uh, so that's those ones are here already. So there is no problem. So also divided by high T, which is in the table and minus one. So for this gamma, everything is intact. So for the percentage effect, let me check if everything is intact. For the percentage effect, I have my gamma, which will be calculated in the second step, divided bracket one plus gamma, then bracket close times odd right percent. So that means everything is set. So I can go ahead with my calculation. So for the high T, it's, uh, we have to use the first one, which is the control. Though you need to have an understanding of maybe the literature to understand what and what to do in some instances. So this is a constant. The high T is a constant. So to do my high uh, T, I need a value for the high T. So I can just do that here somewhere around here. So it is high T divided by I naught. And please, mind you, before you introduce any formula, you have to starts with the equality sign it is very important that is when excel will know that okay you're trying to introduce a formula so with this i can press enter so this value i have here is my value for rt which i said earlier is a constant now it's time for me to calculate the gamma now for the first value i can calculate my gamma now using the formula now the first thing i need to do like i said earlier is to introduce the equality sign then i can proceed now, look at this formula very well. We have brackets, then we have another bracket, parentheses, then followed by RT. So you don't have to write the value of the RT. The value of my RT is in this cell. That is cell J15. So I just have to tap on this once. Then you can, sorry, it is K15. So um, we have K15 here already with the value. So. There's one more thing you need to do since this is a constant value and I want it to be the same all through. So I need to lock it and to lock this value, I would introduce the dollar sign before and in between the letter and the number. So I have locked this value. So it's going to be constant all through the calculation for the subsequent ones. So then I can proceed. Then the next thing is multiplication multiplied by the value of I zero which is this now the next thing i need to do is to what to close the brackets i close the brackets and i introduce the division sign divided by it which is this so i close the brackets again because it's obviously in the formula then minus one and i press enter so this is the value i have now you will notice that this might the value sometimes might be two decimal. It might be in two decimal places, three, four, five, as you wish. Now you can increase or decrease the number of decimal places you want. And you can do that here. We have the increase decimal. So you can see, I can increase it as much as I, I want and I can decrease it. So now in this case, I'm going to have my results in two decimal places. So I can drag this down to give me the same using the same formula to make the calculation for the subsequent one. If I have 100 samples, I'm going to do the same and I will get the correct result. 
Now, looking at this, let's come to the right hand side and see if we have the same. You can see we have exactly the same with what the software calculated. So now let's try to do the same for the percentage effect and see if we are going to get the same. OK, so we're back to where we have. So for the percentage effect, we are going to apply the same formula. So we have equality once more, then open a bracket, then the value of the gamma which is what we have here, then divided by, you have to open the brackets again, one, then plus, then we have the gamma again, then you close the brackets, then close the brackets again, then multiply by 100. So this gives me zero. Like I said, you can increase the decimal places if you want, and you can decrease it. So um, let me decrease and to two, let me make it two decimal places and I can drag it down up to this point. So these are the values I have for the percentage effect. Let's see if it corresponds to what the software calculated. Sorry, that was too fast. So we can see that what we have on this side is the same with what we have on this side. So manually, we've been able to make the calculations using the formula that was given to us from the software. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing